brand so Doc Martens an iconic shoe I wear them just about every single day very multi-purposeful I've had them for about a year when I first got them I did post an unboxing video I posted that on December 19th 2019 so a little over a year and I still keep getting comments with questions about it and someone actually was asking a lot of details and I responded to them and they were like hey like why don't you just do a video of like your docs a year later and I was like you're a genius. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to tell you all about them and explain kind of how they've been throughout the year and my journey with them and all of that. So these <laughs> are my docs. These are the ones I have. They are the 1460 patent leather, so they do have the glossy finish on them. I have small feet, so I really tried to get away with ordering kids boots because they are cheaper, but every time I tried, the height was just way too short, so I did end up going with the woman's ones. And personally, I love the glossy finish they do have these in white they have the matte finish they have a lot of different variety but these are just personally the ones that I love and the ones I have so like I said I've had them for over a year and I wear them all the time and as much as I would like to say that you know I polish them and I wash them every other week and all of that I honestly don't take much care of them before this video I did kind of like clean them with just like a warm wet washcloth but that is the most that I've gone which is kind of sad because they are such a nice quality shoe and obviously I want them to last forever but just so you know like where I stand and how they've held up keep in mind that like I don't personally take the best care of them so something special about these shoes is they have the airwear sole so there are air pockets in the sole of the shoe so it's like bouncy they say and it is really cushiony so it is comfortable they are resistant to oil and they're almost kind of semi waterproof now dr. Mertens does make specifically waterproof shoes these ones specifically aren't designed to be waterproof but I almost feel like they kind of are water resistant just because of the leather and maybe even the glossy finish contributes to that but I feel like they're a little water resistant they're definitely pretty sturdy like they are tough they're definitely a tough shoe so when you first get them because they're made of tough leather they do kind of hurt until you break them in I'm not gonna lie but once you recommend they're amazing and honestly I think they'll last for years so just the structure of the shoe itself is like very sturdy very tough but flexible over time some people did ask about the height and the weight so they are mid height shoes I don't really know how to describe them but they don't obviously go far up your calf they're taller than ankle boots I don't know you can kind of see for yourself they are regular height lace up boots if you try to get away with the kids versions though as not a kid they will be shorter on you and they do have a little bit of weight to them now they're not as heavy as say like my hunter boots for example but they are not light because they're made of very good material which happens to be a little bit heavier so if you ever travel with these wear them to the airport don't pack them as for uh, <laughs> as for sizing now I do think they are pretty true to size but if you are in between sizes or if you're questioning it like oh sometimes I wear a seven sometimes I wear an eight I would definitely size down even though they're pretty true to size I feel like if anything they'd run a teeny bit big and they do stretch over time so when you first get them I mentioned they might hurt a little like they're very sturdy they're very tough but as you break them in, which does take a while, they do stretch and then you will fall in love with them and you'll be happy to wear them every day. To break them in, you could like layer up on your socks. You could just like wear them all the time. But I have read that a lot of people like to just kind of layer up their socks and they find that that helps. Personally, I didn't do that. I just kind of like sucked it up till it was okay. But I'm happy with how they are now and how they've been ever since I kind of broke them in. I feel like I didn't really have like a specific day where I was like, oh, now my shoes are broken in. But just as time, they got more comfortable. That being said, also when you first get them, the glossy ones specifically are a bit squeaky. I thought it was so weird when I would like walk around my work and my shoes would squeak. I was like almost kind of embarrassed, but I honestly don't think that lasted that long. But I will say that when I first got these, specifically the glossy ones, they definitely were squeaky. That was a question I had and the answer is yes. They definitely started out squeaky but you just have to get over them it's kind of just part of the breaking in process too another question I got so I do a lot of fashion videos on my channel as many of you probably know I had a comment from this man and he was like ask me for my opinion hey I'm a guy like I see a lot of girls wearing these like can I buy these can I wear these will they look weird on me all this stuff it was like the sweetest message when he was asking for my opinion like I loved it but my response I was like yes wear them they are one of the most like gender neutral unisex shoes is like definitely wear them I looked it up and they've been around for years I think as early as like 1901 and if you think about it back then they were probably a men's only shoe there was probably like no unisex clothing back then at all and even if you see a lot of women wearing them today I still think they are very unisex 
I just think a lot of like people on social media wear them and that's why it might kind of come across more female populated maybe but I think any person any gender can wear these and pull them off especially because you can wear them with so many different things so that makes them very versatile in terms of season you can wear them in winter you can wear them in fall spring summer it doesn't matter because so many outfits go with them also they are pretty decent in the snow and in the rain so like I said they're not waterproof they're also not made to keep your feet warm but I do find that wearing them in the snow is okay because I feel like they're kind of water resistant the snow probably isn't great for the quality of the shoe but personally like my feet stay decently warm and they don't feel wet when I wear them in weird weather so they are very timeless they've been around for over 100 years so many different people are wearing them and you can style them in so many different ways and they're good for any season okay they're they're timeless personally how I like to wear them is I kind of keep the very top loop open and I just laced the second ones and down. I think I saw someone do this and I was like, hey, I like that. Like I want a little extra lace. So that's kind of how I wear them. I am a pretty big like sandals girl in the summer. So I don't wear them as much in the warmer weather, but you definitely can. I would definitely do a styling video with my ducks if you would want to see that. So back to that comment though, he did end up buying them and he left another comment on either that video or another one of my videos. And it was like, hey, I don't know if you remember talking to me, but thanks for recommending these shoes. I bought them. I love them. And when I saw that, I like was so happy you don't understand I was like wow you took my advice and like you're like thanking me for like giving you advice and you like my opinion like I don't know it was the biggest compliment that he like trusted my word and went for it and he was happy with it so if you're hesitant get them it's a sign like buy them you'll love them you'll enjoy them just wear them they go with so many things like I said oh it was just so sweet it was so sweet they do sell a lot of dupes to these on Amazon and such I've seen a lot of shoes that like look almost the exact same they even have like the yellow on the tag and the yellow stitching around so you can find dupes if you want if you are looking to make sure that the ones you're buying from wherever you're buying from are real just make sure that the little loop on the back does say airwear again that's referring to the soles and obviously the yellow stitching is easy to copy if it was fake but just make sure this airwear is like a key thing I think and I looked it up online and they said make sure there's no typos and things like that you can just buy them directly off the website I mean that's what I did and I think if you enter your email as like a first-time customer you usually get 10 or 15 percent off something like that so could be kind of worth it they are obviously an expensive shoe because they're such a good quality but that's a way that you can save a little bit a couple dollars off of it so another thing about these because they are made of really good leather you obviously can't throw them in the washing machine I mentioned before how I literally just kind of like rub them with a warm wet washcloth and that's just kind of how I did it but a recommended way to clean shoes like this would be to take a dry cloth and scoop some polish I'm sure there's many different kinds that you can use but a shoe polish and kind of just rub like a thin layer all over the shoe it says even include kind of like the lip of the shoe so I haven't tried this because I haven't put that much effort into them I'm sorry but that is recommended on how to wash them if you want to take really good care of them which you should and I should take that advice as well so lastly answering the questions about specifically hey after a year how are they doing so the first one was are they scratched now remember I do have the glossy one specifically I would say they are looking pretty shiny I will have a close-up for you they do have a little bit of minor scuffs but it honestly is nothing that I even really noticed till I was cleaning it this morning so in my opinion it doesn't stand out it's not something that bothers me when I put them on it's also not something that I think anyone would really notice it doesn't stick out a lot but there are minor scuffs they also asked are they creased now yes they actually are I'm being honest near the toe there's definitely crease lines you know when you move your foot if your shoe is stiff usually it will crease I guess depending on the material but you know you have to move when you walk and things like that so this part would obviously bend as you're moving as you're walking so they do have creases in them but again this isn't something that bothers me so it's obviously up to you if you wouldn't like that or not they also asked if the gloss peeled off I was honestly kind of confused at first I was like what like that could happen and then somebody else commented and said that their gloss peeled off of their docks which I was shocked and I feel terrible for that person that that happened but no that has not happened to me the gloss is like fully finished still on all over on my shoe and clearly they've been through a lot like I mentioned I'm not the best to my shoes but no like none of the gloss is peeled off they're still shiny all around the shoe I don't see any indication even like you know near the bottom where it connects to a different material that like maybe part of it would start 
picking up. No, like there's nothing that has peeled and I'm very happy because I didn't even think about that as being a thing. <laughs> Lastly, they asked what products they can use to kind of keep their Doc Martens looking new and fresh and clean. Now on Dr. Martens Twitter, they said that they recommend Wonder Balsam and this keeps the leather soft and prevents cracking and things like that. They actually do sell that on their website. You can also find it on places like Amazon and other shoe stores. It's about $10. So I think that's really worth it and I should have been doing that all along. So overall, after a year, especially with my care with them, they honestly have lasted great and I think I'll have them for so many more years and I will definitely keep wearing them for so long. I think a goal for me is to try to incorporate them a little bit more into like my spring and summer wardrobe. I think I covered a lot, but if you do have any other questions about them or anything at all, please leave me a comment. Also, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.